to find the rate of change of radius of the cylinder, uh, first uh, I'm going to write down the given information into the mathematical equivalent. Uh, we are given that height is decreasing at a rate of 4 feet per second. So if we consider the height of the cylinder as h, uh, we can write down this information as uh, dh over dt. And this is given as uh, 4 feet per second. And since it is decreasing, I'm going to put negative. And we are also given volume is decreasing. at the rate of uh, 1180 cubic feet. So I'm going to write down this information as, uh, uh, if we denote the volume as uh, V, this is uh, dV over dt. It is given as, since it is decreasing, I add a negative 1180 cubic feet per second. Uh, in the next step, uh, we are also given that at certain time the radius is 7 feet and the volume is uh, 348 cubic feet. But we don't know about the height information. So first let's find the height information corresponding to this uh, radius and volume. Uh, for that, I'm going to use the volume formula. That is volume equals pi times of r squared h. So I substitute uh, volume is 348 and uh, radius is 7 so this becomes a 7 squared so from this we can determine the value of h so let's determine that is a 348 divided by pi times of 7 squared is 49 so it's basically 348 over 49 pi so that is the value of uh, h and when you plug this into the calculator this comes approximately as uh, 2.261 feet so therefore, we can also use this information uh, to find the rate of change of radius. So once again, I'm going to use the volume formula, that is uh, V equal pi r squared h. But this time, I'm going to find the derivatives on both sides. So I add uh, the derivative symbol, that is d by dt of volume equals uh, the side. Also, I'm going to add the derivative symbol. So this becomes uh, d by dt of pi r squared h. And uh, we know that uh, derivative of v with respect to time is uh, dv over dt. This is equal to, we can factor out the constant using the constant multiple rule. Pi is a constant. So I factor it out of the derivative. And then I do the derivative only for the terms r squared h. Now we have to apply the product rule to find the derivative of r squared h. So let's do that. So this is going to be pi times of, I put the square bracket and uh, let me find the derivative of r squared first. That is uh, d by dt of r squared. And then I multiply with uh, h and then uh, plus d by dt of uh, height. That is h and then I multiply with r squared. So this is basically keeping the one variable as constant and multiplying with the derivative of another constant. So in this step, I keep the height as constant and then I'm finding the derivative of r squared. Plus, I'm here, I'm keeping the radius as constant, that is the radius squared as constant, and I'm finding the derivative of height. So this is basically the product rule. So let's continue. So this is going to give us pi times of now let's find the derivative of r squared. We can apply the power rule as well as the chain rule. So when we apply the power rule, we will get uh, 2r because derivative of r squared is 2r when we use the power rule. And then we have to use the chain rule to find the derivative of r, which means uh, we will get uh, derivative of r with respect to time is uh, dr over dt. Then we have this h. Uh, here we have uh, just h. So derivative of uh, h with respect to time is uh, dh over dt multiplied with r squared. Now we can plug in the information uh, uh, as given in this question. We know that uh, dh by dt is uh, negative 4 feet per second and dv by dt equal to negative 1180 cubic feet. So I'm going to plug those information. First let me copy them. dh by dt equals uh, negative 4. I'm, I'm just copying without the units and dv by dt 
equals uh, negative 1180 feet cube per second. We also know the radius as well as the volume information. Radius is 7. Volume is uh, 348 uh, cubic feet. And we also found the corresponding h that is uh, 2.261 feet. So let me copy that as well, 2.261. So I can plug in those information over here. So pi times of, uh, 2 times of uh, radius is 7. And uh, dr over dt, uh, that is the uh, derivative that we have to find. We have to find the rate of change of uh, radius. So we write down as it is. The height is uh, 2.261 plus dh over dt is uh, negative 4 times of uh, radius is 7 square. And uh, dv, we also know the volume, corresponding volume, that is 348. I'm sorry, this is, uh, we have to plug in the dv over dt here. Because on the right side, we have dv over dt. So let me plug in the dv over dt, which is negative 1180. So now we will simplify this. This uh, negative 1180 on the right side. This is equal to pi times of uh, 2 times of 7 and multiply with uh, 2.261. We get uh, 31.654 uh, approximately. Multiply this with uh, dr over dt minus uh, negative 4 times of uh, 7 squared is 49. So this gives uh, negative 196. Now in the next step, uh, we can distribute this pi to both the terms of the uh, inside the brackets. And then we have to solve only for the dr by dt. So we get uh, negative 1180 on the right left side. And when we do the distribution, we get uh, 99. 444 dr over dt minus 615.752. So we can solve for uh, dr by dt. First, we add this quantity 615.752 on both sides, and then we divide by this quantity 99.444. So and then we solve for dr by dt. So this could be written as uh, negative 564.248 over 99.444 and this gives negative 5.674 this is basically in terms of feet per second so since we get the radius as in terms of negative quantity we know that the radius is decreasing at the rate of five point six seven four feet per second. So this answers the question.